Hey guys, Supertenabov here, and I'm here for another Xcode tutorial for you today. This tutorial is going to show you how you can load a, an image or a photo uh, from a website uh, directly into a UI image view. So let's get started. I'm going to open a view-based application, and I'm going to call it uh, online image. Save it to desktop, and let's just open it here. All right, so we're, first of all, I'm just going to go into resources this time. Open your uh, view controller XIB, and we're going to add an image view or a UI image view to our UI. So go into library and drag and drop an image view. Here's one added to my uh, UI. Save that. Now come into Xcode and come into your classes folder and click on the viewcontroller.h file. So we're going to add an IB outlet, IB outlet, space UI, image, view, space star, and I'm going to call it image view. Semicolon, save. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call mine UI, uh, I'm going to call mine image view. Alright, we're done in the, uh, we're done in the, um, view controller h file for now. So come into your view controller m and basically I want this image to load immediately as the view loads. So we're going to use our super view to load method. So here we go. And under your super view to load method add the following code. ns data star space image data space equals space Open two square brackets, ns data, space a lock, close square brackets, space init, with content, sorry, init with con, uh, contents of URL, colon, open square brackets, ns URL, space URL with string, uh, colon at and then open two quotations and in between the two quotations add the exact link of the website and the exact link of the image on that website. So I'm going to go into Safari and I found an image of the iPhone. Uh, this is an image I found on Google Images so I'm just going to copy this link and come back in and add it in between our quotations. So load that exact image. Okay. Now after you added your link after the last quotations close the two square brackets semicolon save and enter once. Now type in the following code UI image yep UI image star space image space equals space open two square brackets UI image space a lock and then close the square bracket space in it with data open the co uh, no add a colon image data close square brackets semicolon and enter once open square brackets image view this is the name of our UI imi image image view space set image colon, image, close square brackets, semicolon, save. Alright, enter down once now. And, oops, sorry about that. And now, finally, we're just going to release our image and release our image data. So open square brackets, image, space, release, close square brackets, semicolon, enter down, open square brackets, image data space release close square brackets semicolon save and that is that is it guys we're done in the code uh, now all we've got to do is a link our code to our uh, UI so coming back into uh, interface builder and uh, we're just gonna come into our files owner make sure the inspector tab is open and in our outlets you see we've got an image view outlet that was the IB outlet we made. So we're just going to link our image view to our UI image view, just like so. Save, and now we can quit Interface Builder and build and run. And if we've done everything correctly, 
then it should work perfectly fine. So, appears that we haven't done anything quite quite so. What have I done wrong? Let me just see. Yep, okay, that appears to be right. Uh, sorry, uh, it said uh, init with contents of URL. Make sure the O of your of URL is a capital O and save that. Now I'll just build and run. And it should work. There, there we go, guys. Sorry about that little error, but there we go. So that is how you can load an image from the internet into a UI image view onto the iPhone. Um, and this can this could become handy, for example, uh, let's say, I don't know, uh, for example, you're giving a free wallpaper. Um, every month you could load that from your server, and then you could give, give the user an option to save this image. You know, that's just one of the ways it could be used in your iPhone application. And this obviously works for the iPod Touch and the iPad as well. Alright guys, well thank you very much for watching this Xcode tutorial, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.